Alright guys, in case you didn't know this just yet, Unreal Engine 5's been used to create some pretty impressive projects for the past couple of months, since the Epic Store actually made this engine kind of actually public for free. The latest of examples, so to speak, is what we have here called Cyber Street. Actually, a reimagined, so to speak, Cyberpunk 2077 project, or just basically that game, well, since CD Projekt Red has actually moved on with it, would look like using Unreal Engine 5. Take a look. Moving on, we have actually something probably not as legit as I hoped it would be, but um, yeah, Superman Project Slash Demo. See, technically speaking, the same game that was actually released at the Game Awards a little while ago, and you all came to know by the name, The Matrix Resurrections. You see, the idea over here is to give fans just a very good indication of how a new Superman could look like today if it were to be built with Unreal Engine 5. However, in terms of actual announcement, Marvel or any other company for that matter is yet to officially announce a development plan in the future. Check it out, make sure to stay tuned for any updates on this one. Coming up behind that, walking in Hong Kong, or just Hong Kong, a, a sleeping dogs inspired project created with the Unreal Engine 5 Lumen. Well, technically, what Sleeping Dogs 2 would look like today if it were to be remade with the new engine. Like, honestly, all they had to really do was to just hire the guy behind this project over here, bring in a couple of other veterans, and boom. Look, here's what I'm talking about. Now, Legend of Emir, basically a tech demo at the moment, technically speaking, however, actually started that way and now a fully developing project. What we have here, in terms of actual gameplay, which I don't really know what it is yet, maybe it's an RPG, could go up to something as far as 2025, probably even around the same time they come up with Unreal Engine 6, <laughs> I don't know, but developers of which actually somehow promised to come up with a taste of the game very soon. Take a look.
coming up at number five, and honestly, this is just absolutely insane. We have something going on here, going by the name, we kill monsters. What I've gathered so far to have been in development since last year around the same time as now. And as you can see, just a mishmash of so many things things, be it Shadow of the Colossus, Horizon Zero Dawn, a bit of Death Stranding, and there's just more. Uh, the bad news, however, is an official release window or just an announcement for the project is still yet to be announced, so just keep it in mind for now. Okay, I don't know yet if this is legit, even though it's been months since reveal, but we have here what looks to be a Game of Thrones Korean, or so it seems like inspired, Unreal Engine 5 mobile RPG project. Here's just a really brief trailer. Let's take a quick look at it until further updates. Go and make sure not to talk about this particular project with anybody, just for your own good. Yeah. Over a month ago, well, during the epic state of Unreal Stream, Crystal Dynamics, well, technically speaking, the same developers behind old Tomb Raider games so far, actually came out and announced they're developing a new Tomb Raider game and it's being built using Unreal Engine 5. This is basically what they came up with back then, which is not even Tomb Raider gameplay, and said this, our goal this time is to deliver a high quality cinematic experience, the kind that one would truly expect from a next generation console game. Just keep it in mind, make sure to stay tuned for any updates on this one in the future. Guys, moving on, we've got Gears 6, technically speaking, untitled Gears of War, yet to be announced. And, well, if it's any indication, there's always been a three-year gap between any Gears of War game, just like latest in the series for to five. So basically just considering that Gears 6 at its least getting a reveal trailer later this year, that is almost kind of bound to happen. With that said, if the series' success is an indication too, and Gears 5 actually left the story with a massive cliffhanger, an official update on this one is coming around soon.
coming up behind that, we have what goes by the name Rooted, a survival game basically almost brand new. I, I actually mentioned this just the other day, inspired by The Last of Us and using Unreal Engine 5. Now, this game is now in its very early stages of development and said to be coming out in about a year from now. Once released, it'll support co op play day and night cycle, season shifts and stuff, and in terms of story, however, the team only promised to come out with some of that in the following month. So just keep it in mind. by QX, there were some really fine developers out there that have learned to be only making some high quality 3D content. We have what goes by the name The 90 Days Project. See, what was originally intended as a fun little experiment and an opportunity to get hands-on experience with Unreal Engine 5, now though apparently a to be revealed project as a whole in the next 90 days to come. That's just basically what they said. Take a look. Coming up behind that, guys, let's take a quick look at residential houses. See, honestly, at first, I couldn't tell if this was a game or it's real life, if it weren't for the for the robot protagonist or whatever that is. Actually, for some reason, I just can't help but think this kind of looked like Hitman Blood Money would look like if they were to do a remake on that game with using Unreal Engine 5. I don't know, I'm just saying. As far as the project goes, though, residential houses is what I have reason to believe just a concept, but eventually a third person simulation game. Take a look.
And last but not least, we have a project grunt. Well, well, something that for the past couple of weeks created enough hype to fit kind of right up there with Blizzard games. Technically speaking, it does look like a Warcraft game or what World of Warcraft would look like if it were rendered in Unreal Engine 5. Only problem here though is I don't really know if this is gonna work eventually as a game due to copyright issues, but nonetheless, it would definitely be something to wait for. So take a look.